Hi, I'm Channing McCorriston, the container guy. In this video, we're gonna show you how to install an aluminum insulated roll shutter door in the door end of a shipping container. Stay tuned. In this container, we've already removed the container doors and installed a framing kit. So these roll shutter doors, they require a framing kit. You can't just buy them and install them on the corrugations and expect them to work. You need a framing kit to structurally reinforce the container back to its original integrity and then install this kit. And when you do that, you need to make sure that nothing's in the way of where this kit's gonna install in terms of rivets, screws, or bulky welds. For this specific framing kit, the footer basically extends the footer in the container doorway and continues that angle. The side pieces, they self-tapping screw into the uh, hollow section of the corner post. And then the header itself, it has its own little rain drip that runs the water away from the container. And the self-tapping screws, we need to make sure that we install them way up high, out of the way of the roll of this roll shutter door. So these kits are, uh, Pretty cool, they only come with three parts really, uh, the two side frames and the header roll. That comes fully pre-tensioned, everything ready to go. So basically you just slide your two side pieces in, hold this door up, screw it on, and it's operational. Uh, the only other thing is just a set of keys that comes with it. Uh, very simple to install and simple to use. They seem to work great. You see a lot of them where, like to say there's a jewelry shop with a full glass storefront they'll install these roll shutter doors to protect the glass at night when they're closed. So they're, yeah, they're a real durable door. Uh, we'll show you what the guts of it looks like shortly here uh, once we get to installing it. And this header case for the roll here, it's 10 inches tall. So your header for your container, no rivets, no self tappers, nothing in the way for the first 10 inches of that header on the outside of the can to make sure that this sits nice and flush right up against the header that you install in the container. You can't just install this right up against the corrugations because water will get in behind them and into your container. So the doors come pre-wound. You see there, so it wants to um, coil back around the, uh, the, the coil in the header there. So it does have these stops, which stops it from doing that. So when you remove this header, uh, just be conscious of what you're doing. You can actually, if you need it to increase or decrease tension, you can, the, the way you do that is you actually just uh, move the, the coil around and around, and that will either tension the spring that's inside of it or uh, release the tension. So, uh, but they are, all set at factory and, and they've typically done them right. The only way that you need to do that is if you're adding like an extra door seal which added resistance to the, the door as it was going either down or up. So your side frames here are three inches wide and you'll wanna make sure that your frames for the doorway in the container have at least three inches of unobstructed smooth surface all on the same plane as the header for this thing to install. These side frames are an extruded aluminum so they got this rubber seal here and then uh, th on the front side they'll have pre-drilled a larger hole and then the back side is a smaller hole and you'll want to make sure that you have the larger hole facing outwards because that's what your screw head goes through and then it will self tap into the frame through this hole. So when you slot in the side frames to the, the receiver portion of the header, make sure that the door gets started in the track. And do the same thing on the other side. So I've got some help here. It's kind of a two man job to stand this door and screw it in. Once you got your side frames connected to the header, make sure that they're sitting up against the framing kit on the container. And so you can just use the leverage and just lift this thing up in place. And once you get it up there, we're just gonna clamp the side frames of the door to the, the framing kit. So we've just tacked the top two corners and we'll just grab the door and pull it down and make sure that it runs nice and true before we get all the other screws in. So we have the sides all screwed on. Now we just need to remove the top cover. And so now that we have it all the way down, we have access to the back of this cover. And we're just gonna drill in three different places and run our quarter inch thread cutting screw. So now that we got the top of it all bolted on, we just grab this cover. 
reinsert them screws. So now that we have the door all buttoned up, we'll just show you how it works. Pretty smooth operation. And closes right up. And it also comes with three sets of keys here. And these install into the locking mechanism and there's a slide latch that catches a hole in the slide rail here. And so that'll keep it nice and secure at night. We found the decorative caps, so we'll put them in the holes here. So that right there is a roll shutter door install in a shipping container. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe to our channel and ring that notification bell. And as always, check us out at tcg.ca. Hope you learned something.